Hello, and welcome to the latest installment of New Arrivals at Princeton Record Exchange. It is a sweltering early July, about 85 already in the morning, and today... Today we're featuring a really nice collection of over 400 classical audiophile records. For those not familiar with audiophile records, as they're called, they're known as much for their sonic quality as their performances although good performances as well. Typically, the time period ran from, say, 1958-59 with the early RCA stereos uh, up until the late 70s when the digital era took over. There are many different labels that are looked for. There's the RCA Shaded Dogs, London Bluebacks, the Ritas, the Mercury SR series. Today, primarily, we're featuring a beautiful collection of EMIs. Now, EMIs were produced in England. Uh, they're often known for their prefixes of the catalog numbers. So you see the ASDs, ESDs, HQSs, SLX box sets, and we've got just hundreds in stock right now. As with many recordings, you can identify which era by the label. Uh, to help you a little bit, in the mid-70s, this was the small dog, and these are the most prevalent. We see these quite often. The ones that were produced for export to America uh, had the same kind of looking label, uh, but there's an angel instead of the little nipper dog that you see if it was produced in England for England. A little bit later in the series uh, is called the large dog or the half dog. Uh, the bulk of the ones in the late 70s are going to have this half-dog one, and some of the earlier pressings that are reissued are going to have that too. Most of the ones we have in stock today are the smaller dogs, so it's mostly 70s when they were purchased. Uh, we'll flip through some more titles here. The gentleman who collected these took excellent care of them. Always a pleasure to see a clean collection come in. Uh, he was up in Connecticut just doing a little bit of downsizing. Uh, you'll see some of the, uh, what's called sort of pseudophiles, there's a lot of smaller labels, there's the reference recordings, there's Sheffield Labs, uh, there's a lot of direct-to-disc, uh, which are sort of like the mobile fidelities in that they, they took the original recordings and bypassed a lot of the mid-technology, uh, making what a lot of people think is a better sounding record. Uh, people really like to test drive their systems on these records. These aren't the really stratospheric priced ones. Most of the ones we have in stock now are from, say, $2.99 to $14.99. Uh, the later ones tend to be a little bit cheaper. The really high-priced are usually the Shaded Dogs and the Mercuries from the early 60s. Uh, we do have a few higher-priced here. The bulk of them are going to be called on the TAS list, it's called, or the Absolute Sound list. For many, many years, the Absolute Sound magazine was the Bible for audiophile lovers and really did a lot of analysis of the equipment. And every year, Harry Pearson, the editor, would come out with his list of what he considered the best records out there, sonically speaking. Sometimes they were really high-priced records, sometimes not. Uh, they still drive the market to a large extent, so you might see records in the same series going for 4 or $5, and you might have to pay $25, $30, $40 for some of these higher-priced ones. He had a good ear, though, I have to say. The ones that I've heard that he picked out are really quite tremendous. Uh, you'll see lots of the Green Sleeve series. Those are the ESDs. There's the SLX. SLS, rather, box sets, uh, which sound quite good as well. Just a really nice, clean collection of not super high-priced records if you really want to see what your stereo can do. We've got some nice French imports here. There's a lot of Australians, too. These are Australian pressings here, which is kind of unusual. We've been getting a lot of requests for classical lately, and it's been a pleasure to bring some more in. Uh, we had really had de-emphasized it for a while, but more and more people were asking, you know, it's always difficult to balance out how much space to allocate for any particular product. Uh, but we also have down here, oh, at least a few hundred, five, six hundred other classical records, maybe 199 to 599. Uh, we've brought in hundreds of dollar records and they've been selling quite briskly too. So for you people who haven't been in for a while looking for classical, I think you'll be happy with what you see. So I'll just flip through a couple more here. Uh, overall, we've been very busy, as well as this nice classical collection. We have a 
couple thousand non-classicals in our new arrivals. Right now we've also just recently marked down about five, six hundred new from distributor rock LPs out there. We've gotten in a lot of classical CDs and just about everything else. Uh, we have an incredible selection of cheap DVDs right now. So if you haven't been in for a while, we encourage you to come in this summer. It's hot out there. It's cool in here. The air conditioning's working great. And we hope you get a chance to visit us at Princeton Record Exchange in Princeton, New Jersey.